if you only want to trade one strategy guys right you could definitely do that and make a living from trading so let me show you guys this one strategy that will help you with your trading career so let's talk about the trading strategy that will help you escape the rat race okay because when it comes to trading guys you only need one strategy to make a living me personally i trade multiple strategies because the market doesn't look the same every single day and a lot of times i'm trading one market so multiple strategies you know fit the way i trade but if you only want to trade one strategy guys right you could definitely do that and make a living from trading so let me show you guys this one strategy that will help you with your trading career so before i go to the chart let me explain what i'm looking for okay i'm looking for gaps to be filled so a lot of times in the market, the market will do maybe aggressive buying or aggressive selling, right? Some people call it, you know, um, an impulse. Some people call it imbalance. Some people call it, you know, supply and demand. Some people call it gaps. Today, I'm calling it gaps because you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So overall, the market loves to create these gaps and then it loves to come back to fill these gaps, right? And that's the whole strategy. We're looking for the market to come back to fill the gaps. Now. A lot of people will tell you that it's 100% guaranteed the market will fill gaps, guys, it's not. The market doesn't always fill gaps, right? But it does fill gaps most of the time, okay? And we're gonna use that to our advantage, you know, when we are trading. So let me show you some examples right here. Let me just go to the chart real quick. So right here, let's say that the market's going up, right? And then we have this aggressive buying to the upside, right? Now, we're looking for the market to come back to fill this gap because this is the gap right here, right? This is the gap right here. This aggressive buying when the market just shot up, didn't do any type of retrace, no pullbacks at all. We're looking for the market to come back to fill this gap because this is how the market moves, right? It comes back to fill these gaps so it can actually fill some more orders. So that's the whole strategy. Now, now if you have been following my channel and you know the strategies that I post, you know I talk about supply and demand a lot, right? So with this, right, supply and demand is the opposite. We're waiting for the market to come back, right, to this zone right here so we can take a trade, right? But today, we actually are doing the opposite. We are looking to take a trade at the top to come back to fill this gap so we can actually make some profits so i'm gonna go to the chart and show you guys what i'm talking about okay so here's a good example right here now when i'm using this strategy guys i'm not looking to predict the top or the bottom i am looking for price to be at a key level okay so right here we notice that we have resistance right here so i'm looking for a price to be at a key level like resistance or supply and demand for me to even take the trade so notice how we have right a nice aggressive move to the upside okay you can't deny that it's a nice aggressive move right here to the upside now i see we have resistance to the left okay so notice how we have multiple rejections nice trade to the downside right and if i'm taking this trade i can say all right it's a strong possibility that the market will come back to fill this gap so my target is right to this gap right here okay and boom sure enough notice how the market came to this gap right and then it bounced off that gap so that is the whole strategy i'm gonna show you guys some more examples so you can really understand exactly what i'm talking about so let me show you guys some more examples okay so right here i'm gonna show you an example that i'm not looking for okay so i don't want you to come in the market and think that you know just because you see a gap um you can just short the market so right here we have the market have a nice aggressive move to the upside, right? I don't want you to say, oh man, the market is gonna fill this gap. Let me start to short this market. No, this right here is a clear uptrend. I don't wanna short this market. I wanna go long, all right? Meaning I wanna buy this market. So I would never try to predict or try to make a trade and say, okay, they are gonna come back to fill uh, this gap right here. No, I'm not looking for that, okay? I'm looking to go long. So I actually took this trade right here. Let me show you real quick. So right here, we had a nice, you know, breakout right here, a strong move. I'm looking to go long, okay? We have a nice swing low right here. The market had trouble around that swing low, couldn't go lower, multiple rejections. I went long, okay? And this was a nice scalp to the upside, right? And I was out. So I want you guys to understand, I'm not looking to just take a trade against the trend. It has to be at a key level, okay? So let me show you guys some examples. Okay, so here's an example right now. We are at resistance right here. Notice how the market hit that resistance and it sold right off. So we know we have aggressive buying right here, right? Aggressive buying right here, right? So I can say, all right, it's at resistance. We have a nice double test right here. I can go short and my target could be that demand level right there, 
okay notice how it went straight to that demand level now if you notice here it gave you another supply so notice how we have aggressive selling right here right and we have support right here so you can actually say you know what i want to go long right and target this uh, supply right here but if you look to the left we have what okay left shoulder resistance so you have to keep that in mind right so if i'm taking a long right here and i know that we have supply right here i'm going to say you know what it might not even go to that supply because we have that left shoulder resistance so keep that in mind if you're trying to do that and you have resistance in the way so to me if i took this long i would probably just get out right here so let me show you guys some more examples all right here's another example right here okay this is nasdaq and guys this is the five minute chart because i know some of you guys always ask me what you know what time frame is this i trade the five minute chart okay and also a lot of you guys ask me can this work on crypto can this work on options stocks forex guys it doesn't matter price action is price action yes it will work on any market okay so right here we have support right notice how the market created this supply level right here and multiple rejections right here right and you could have went long right here right to fill that gap and pretty much this is the strategy i'm gonna show you guys some more examples so you can really understand what i'm looking for all right guys so here's another right here now before i explain this make sure that you check out the black friday sale that's going on right now so you can actually take advantage of the you know the price because it's the lowest it's going to be all year so make sure you take advantage of that discount and the discount is below in the description so now let's look at this trade guys so right here we have what we have aggressive selling to the downside right here so we have that supply also we have this support area right here okay so to me okay it created this nice double test right here you could have went long right there right and the target would be supply which is right here we do have this left shoulder resistance right here so you have to keep that in mind but honestly that left shoulder right there it's not too you know it is literally lining up at that supply so to me i wouldn't worry about that so it'd be a nice target boom at that supply and you'd be done and notice how as soon as it hit that supply it sold off so keep that in mind a lot of times when we hit these supply or demand areas you're going to see some type of reaction when you're taking that trade so let me show you guys some more examples all right so right here guys what we have is a range in market right this is not really going nowhere just going back and forth and we do have uh support right here and the market hit that support now notice how it came to the support it gave you a nice aggressive selling so we know that the market just created a gap right and we can say all right if we see some type of reaction at the support level and we want to go long we can target that supply area right here aka the gap area right so you can you know get your profit so that was a nice trade where it hit that support area notice how we have multiple rejections right here right you can go long and we're looking to target this supply area right so we can look for profits so pretty much this is the concept i'm going to show you some more examples so you can really understand this all right so here is another example okay so we have support right here now all of a sudden the market popped up and it's giving you this demand level right here okay so to me i would definitely be very interested in this trade because now we had a nice pop to the upside right and it's creating this demand level so if it comes back to this demand level you know we can def definitely take a trade so overall we noticed that we have a gap right here okay right so um it came back to this demand level multiple rejections right definitely remember this trade there's a lovely trade right here and you can target you know the supply area now sometimes it will go past that supply area but a lot of times it will react to that supply area right and sell off or react to the demand level and actually go long so keep that in mind so let me show you guys some more examples all right so here's something recently um again five minute chart now we have the market creating this demand level right here and basically do we have support yes we do have support to the left so that's a bonus okay so we have support around here bouncing off the support and creating a demand level and creating this nice um, bullish bar right here to me that's a long and basically the target is what this gap right here okay a lot of times um if you do have um areas where the market have resistance keep that in mind that it could react to this resistance right here first so maybe you can piece out your levels or piece out your target so maybe take some off right here and then the rest right here so keep that in mind but for the most part it's going to come back to fill this gap 
All right, let me show you guys one more example. Okay, so here's another example right here. The market's at this support level right here. It's bouncing off that support level right here, right? And guess what? The market created this gap to the downside, okay? This big gap to the downside, right? Nice aggressive move to the downside. Um, and basically we're looking for the market to react at that level. But before you even go to that one, look to the left. We actually have a nice little 